Take a stand. Numbers 25, 11, Pinchas, son of Eleazar, son of Aharon, the priest, has saved the Israelites from my anger. He hates sin as much as I do, since he tried to save my honor among them because of his zeal in their midst. I will not kill them in my zeal. Pinchas took a stand. Pinchas took a stand against fornication and idolatry. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 18, flee fornication. And 1 Corinthians 10, 14, flee from idolatry. Fornication is sexual immorality, sexual lust, sexual communication, sexual activity outside of the marriage covenant. Idolatry is the worship of idols or excessive devotion to or reverence for some person or thing. Idolatry is taking steps away from God and towards someone or something else. Take a stand. We need to take an active stand against fornication and against idolatry and against all sin. We need to take an active stand against pornography, profanity, and perversion. We need to take an active stand, a strong stand against abortion and all sexual sin. Withstand, confront, acknowledge, resist, oppose, reject, keep away, decline, refuse. When we stand, we need to do so in love and compassion, not in anger and hate. 1 Kings 18.21 Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you stay between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people did not say a word. 1 Kings 18.22 Then Elijah said to the people, I alone remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets number 450. Even when the odds are against us, we need to take an active stand for God. 1 Kings 18.24 And you called on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, yud heh vav heh And the God that answers by fire, let him be God. Evil triumphs when good men sit and do nothing. Don't take a seat in complacency, but take a stand for righteousness. Let your voice be heard. Take a stand. 1 Kings 19.10, and he said, I have been very zealous for the Lord, yud heh vav heh God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. And I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. Elijah was zealous for God. Pinchas was zealous for God. Zeal. Zeal means great fervor, energy, or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. Passion, ardor, love, fervor, fire, avidity, devotion, vigor, eagerness, appetite, gusto, energy, intensity. Zeal has appeal. Zeal is attractive. Zeal is contagious. Zeal is action. Pentecost took a stand. Elijah took a stand. We need to take an active, zealous stand for the Lord our God. Your actions will affect all of those around you, and so will your apathy. Take a stand. Numbers 26.2, take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel from 20 years old and above by their father's houses, all who are able to go to war in Israel. There are thousands of census. What are you being counted for? Where do you stand? Does your stand and standard truly reflect who you are? Does your stand reflect the righteousness of Messiah? This census was counting soldiers ready for war. We need to take an active stand in spiritual warfare. Ephesians 6.11, put on the whole armor, the armor of a heavy armed soldier which God supplies, that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the strategies and the deceits of the devil. Ephesians 6.13, therefore put on God's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger and having done all the crisis demands to stand firmly in your place. Take a stand. We need to take an active, bold, aggressive stand against Satan. Numbers 26, 65, For the Lord, yud heh vav -Hey, has said to them that they would all die in the wilderness. None of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun. Out of the original adult Israelites, there were only two left standing. 
We need to take a stand in like Joshua and Caleb. We need to stand with strong faith. Everyone else died prematurely as they stood in doubt and unbelief. We need to take an active stand in faith, trust, belief, and confidence in God and in His words. Numbers 25, 17, attack the Midianites and strike them. Psalm 97, 10, you who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Take a stand. We need to take an active stand against evil. Rebuke, resist, reject, refuse. If the Bible calls something evil, so should we. Numbers 27, 1, then came the daughters of Zelephahad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, from the families of Manasseh, and the son of Joseph. And these were the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Thirzah. Numbers 27, 2, when they stood uh, before Moses, before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders, and all the congregation by the doorway of the tabernacle of the meeting, saying, Numbers 27, 7, the daughters of Zeleph Fehad speak what is right. They speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers, and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. We need to take a stand for what is right. Numbers 27, 21, he, Joshua, shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire before the Lord for him. By judgment of the Urim, at his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, he and all the children of Israel with him, all the congregation. We need to take an active stand in prayer, continually inquiring the will of God. Acts 5.20, go stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. We need to take a bold, brave stand and speak the word, the word of God. Acts 26.16, but rise and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness, both of the things which you have seen and of the things which I will yet reveal to you. We need to take a stand for Messiah and be an active, living, courageous witness for Him. Acts 26.22 Therefore, having obtained help from God, to this day I stand, witnessing both to small and great, saying to none other things than that which the prophets and Moses said would come. Acts 26.23 That the Messiah, the Anointed One, would suffer, that He would be the first to rise from the dead, and would proclaim a light to the Jewish people and to the Gentiles. 1 Corinthians 16.13 Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Galatians 5.1 Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Messiah the Anointed One made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Take a stand. We need to take an active stand for the gospel and for the liberty, deliverance, and salvation and freedom in Messiah. We need to take an active stand against bondage, false doctrines, evil, wickedness, and sin. We are salt. We are light. We are God's mouthpiece. We are God's witnesses. We are not to be silent. We are to lift our voice like a shofar. We are to be zealous for our God. Take a stand.